Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to spend time in God's Word and a few moments in prayer as well. Trusting in God's timing. 1 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 6. The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, for he is anointed of the Lord. You know, we all want good things to happen in our lives. But too often, we want it now and not later. When it doesn't happen that way, we are tempted to ask God, when God? God gives us hopes and dreams for certain things to happen in our lives, but He doesn't always allow us to see the exact timing of His plan. The verse we read today, when King Saul failed to obey and honor the Lord, Samuel explained that God would give the kingship to a man after his own heart. That man, David, soon entered the ranks of Saul's army and became a powerful warrior. Saul felt threatened by this, so he launched an effort to pursue David and kill him. David escaped into the wilderness, living for years as a fugitive. Now, God also tested David in a way like Saul, giving the young warrior a chance to take a shortcut around God's leading and timing. While hunting for David, Saul ended up entering the same cave in which David was hiding. But Saul didn't know David was there. David's men urged him to kill Saul while he had the chance. But David refused, knowing it would be wrong to kill the one who has been anointed by God. He knew that it wouldn't be right to try to seize the kingship in this way. Eventually, David became the king of Israel, but by God's timing and not his own. That wait was about 14 years. Timing and trust work side by side. The truth is, waiting is a given. We are going to wait. The question is, are we going to wait the right way or the wrong way? If we wait the wrong way, we may end up miserable, but if we wait the right way, that is God's way, we become patient and we enjoy the wait. It takes practice, but as we let God to help us in each situation, we develop patience, which is one of the most important attributes of Christian life. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. It is developed only under trial, so we must not run from difficult situations. Has it ever seemed that God is taking way too long to release you from trouble? It's easy to grow frustrated when we think God should deliver us more quickly. Yet, God's timing is always for our good. The problem isn't that God is taking too long. The problem is that we can't see what only God can see. Our waiting shows our trust in Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for giving us this opportunity to trust in you, Lord. And even as we look at the life of David and many others in your word, God, you have made them to wait. But through those waiting years, God, you, you have tested them, approved them, Lord. And I pray, God, that even some of us may be waiting Pray that you will teach us to wait with joy and patience and confidence, knowing that you are in control. We thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.